Huh? Oh yeah. Remember, your career may not go the way you think it will, so have a backup plan. Hey everybody, it's Bill Duran here from Punished Props. I've been working on this really cool project this will eventually be sort of a domed robot helmet looking thing. Trust me, it'll get there. And to get the basic shape laid out on it, I decided to use Pepakura. Pepakura Designer is a free program that you can get from the internet. I'll put a link down below. And you can either get your hands on files that other people have made or make them yourself with a 3D modeling program. I modeled this guy out in Maya and then did all of the unfolding and planning out in Peppercura Designer and printed all the pieces out like so on these sheets right here. Then go through and cut them all out and glue them together to create a three-dimensional object. I figured since I was doing this and also getting carpal tunnel from cutting all the pieces out, I would take a moment to give you guys some tips for your own Peppercura projects. First of all, having a good knife to work with is a must. Something with a nice, comfy, swishy grip because you will be cutting away like a crazy person for hours on end. Also, for cutting and creasing your edges, you will want a metal ruler. That's right, a metal ruler. Nothing will irritate someone more than when you try and use a plastic ruler as a straight edge when you're cutting something and you gouge a chunk out of it. Something else that I like to use is this pointy bit. Not exactly sure what you would call this, but I got this in a pack of some different shaped ones from the hardware store. It's like an awl uh, for sewing or for leather working and it's just kind of pointy and I use it for creating fold creases. So what I usually do is I'll use my nice sharp knife to cut a piece out very carefully so that the edges are nice and straight. If you want to do this freehand like I do, then go for it, but you also may want to use your metal ruler to make sure your lines and edges are nice and straight. Then once your piece is cut out, use your pointy awl and trace the fold lines with the all using a straight edge. For this one, I found you definitely need the straight edge because this thing tends to stray if you try and trace out freehand. Then once your piece is nice and cut out and the fold lines are creased, you can bend them a little bit and you'll see that your piece looks nice and faceted and is ready to go. When it comes to putting your Peppercura pieces together, I like using super glue, but you can use paper glue like Elmer's or glue stick or really whatever you like. What I like to do is to assemble the pieces so that the edges overlap. That way the edges will line up nicely when you glue one flap at a time. Then you just hold that flap for a few seconds while the glue holds it in place and move on to the next one. You just end up going through a series of folding and unfolding and getting the edges all nice and lined up by overlapping the flaps. Then you just spend a few more hours doing that and you'll end up with a piece looking like hopefully the way you want it to. So there you go. If you've been thinking about trying out doing some Peppercura yourself, I say go for it. Try out some of these tips I've given you today. If you have any questions about something that you're working on that involves Peppercura, let me know. Leave a comment down below in the video comments or send me a message over on Facebook at facebook.com slash punished props or on Twitter at twitter.com slash chimbeard. And remember kids, follow your dreams. When it comes to putting your Peppercurra pieces together, 